Driving to me is a way to change my focus. And if we're going too slow, you can think about life's problems. But if you start going faster, you can't. The faster you go, the fewer problems you could worry about. I'm Jake Namer, the managing member of Hamfist Racing LLC, and I drive a 93 Mazda RX-7. It's our race car, and it's been competing for years with some success in the SECA solo autocross world. We are in my home in Brooklyn, New York, in Greenpoint. It's a two-story warehouse that I've converted to my home. The house was sort of the solution to what is the New York City car problem. Parking is a nightmare, car culture is a nightmare. There are no gas stations, there are no mechanic shops, especially back in the day, I used to live in Manhattan. There is none of that. So I got this place and I said, it's gotta be able to fit as many cars as I could imagine so that I never have to deal with this again. <laughs> I work on everything here. Anything I could dream of, I'll work here. Most of that involves cars, mechanical work and body work and maintenance and upgrades and performance parts, but just a lot of creation in general. I've won two national championships and a pro solo championship. One of the national championships was in the RX-7 and one was in my M3. Racing in the category of racing called street modified. Um, you could pretty much do whatever you want. So when I modify the car, I'm free to cut, clearance, and modify just about anything you want. So you get creative and then you also realize um, things don't work out as planned and you sort of have to band-aid the car and just keep it running and keep it running and it teaches you to persevere and just find solutions and execute physically on solutions as quickly as possible to get the car back in the field back on track. In the beginning of racing, the drive is sort of underwhelming. It was sloppy and slow, and, and then eventually you get to the point where like, you start to go fast. The more you drive at that limit, the more comfortable you are at that limit, and then it's like crack, you know? You just wanna keep winning, and you just wanna keep driving fast. You're making so many changes of directions within 60 seconds. It's not like a track where it's all smooth hand. It was way more violent than I thought autocross was supposed to be. My car likes to be driven fast. It doesn't like to idle. So these types of things aren't great in New York City for it. It was really purpose built to be autocrossed and that's changing over the years, what my priorities are with the car and whether or not I want to keep racing it or just sort of keep it as my trophy piece of running history of my life. And I think that's sort of where it's going to end up as. My vision would be to be discovered and have a team of real engineers and technicians that can, we can feel the race car together. I've come a long way and I want to bring my driving to a team that appreciates what I can bring. You gotta look ahead in this game of driving and performance racing. The further you look out, the more you'll see inborn of that focal point. If you're focusing on something close to you, you're only gonna see inborn of that focal point. You'll never see beyond it. So look as far ahead as possible.